Kia ora, boys and girls. Tēnā koutou katoa. This week is part of Māori Language Week, so you're probably learning a whole lot of phrases like uh, Ke te piha koe, but it's how are you, and um, signing off uh, little letters or emails with uh, Nā mihi nui, which means um, go well, lots of blessings. Nui is always big. Anyway, I'm going to read you a story in a minute, but first of all, uh, Stripe and I, we're, we're very colour coordinated today, you see, and i broke out this jacket. You know, I woke up this morning and thought, I'll wear something old from my closet. So I looked through the, the things and found this jacket from the 80s. Thought, yeah, yeah, it's a rocker kind of jacket. Anyway, so let's rock. And the story I've got, courtesy of Dorothy Butler Bookshop, give a little ad there for Helen. Um, Manukura. It's called Manukura, the white kiwi. Kiora Tamariki Ma. My name is Manukura, which means the chiefly one. And my home is Pukaha, Pukaha, Mount Bruce. My guardians are two noble Kiwi, Nati Manuhiri in the north and Rangi Tane in the Wairapa. People see me as a treasure, a tohu or special sign of new beginnings. Come closer, Tamariki, and I'll tell you why. There's the little white key. Behind my story is another story. Let us start at the beginning. If you roll back time, you'll find that our land, Aotearoa, was full of kiwi. Then came the enemies, the dogs, the ferrets, the stoats, boo hiss, the fires, Clear the forest. The Kiwi are becoming extinct. How can they be saved? And then there's a picture. At Pukaha Mount Bruce, Kiwi eggs are hatched in an incubator. The baby Kiwi are fed until they're big enough to look after themselves. Then they are released in the great Pukaha forest, protected from those nasty predators. With the help of Nati Manahiri, Manahiri is a bird, also known as people who um, are visitors, Manahiri. 30 brown kiwi, Nati, for with Nati Manahiri, 30 brown kiwi are taken from Halturu, which is Little Barrier Island, and released in the forest at Pukaha, Mount Bruce. This is where my story begins. Two of those birds from Haoturu are my mother and father. And there's the good old Doc Ranger. Yay for Doc Rangers! I have no memory of being moved from the forest to the hatchery. I was a little blob in a big, large egg, feeding on the rich yolk and growing, growing, for 70 to 80 days. On the outside, my shell looked all the others, looked like all the others. No one at the hatchery knew what was happening inside. And there's the egg. Da -da -da -dum. It's May 2011. 12 eggs are hatched. All North Island brown kiwi. I am number 13. Lucky 13. Tap, tap. The end of my beak is strong for making a hole in a hard shell. Tap, tap, tap. And there's the hole. Ranger Darren thinks he can see a white feather in the hole. He knows that the Kiwi on Haoturu, Little Barry Island, sometimes have a white feather in their brown plumage. But I have a bigger surprise for him. And there's Darren, our man Darren. All my feathers are snowy white. Ha <laughs> ha! And there's the little white kiwi. No, I'm not an albino, a creature lacking colour. I am the rarest of birds, a pure white kiwi. My feathers are like snow, like sea foam on the shore, like moonlight on the land. I'm a girl, and I've come with a message.
Jason of Orangatane says, Every now and then something extraordinary comes along to remind us how special life is. It's a very nice message, isn't it? And there's Jason of Orangitane. How special life is. Here at the sanctuary, I get visitors from distant lands. Well, before COVID. The world is eager to know about me. And I'm happy to spend my days with my brown feathered friend, Pōtiki, who was number 14. She too is special. And there they are at the visitor centre. So, so are you, Tamariki? Think how special you are. Tamariki is children. Ever since this world began, there's never been a person exactly the same as you. And never will be again. Marukura, the white kiwi, comes to remind you that you too are a tonga, a treasure. And the world is made better by that unique treasure you are. You're a treasure, just like this little white kiwi. And that's the end of the story. And then they've got a whole lot of kiwi facts here, which are pretty cool if you're into the fact stuff at the end of books. It says, female kiwis weigh up to three kilograms, males weigh up to two kilograms. Females are heavy duty, man. Females are bigger to accommodate the big egg. A kiwi egg takes up 20% of the female's body. Next fun fact. Manukura weigh 280 grams at hatch. Pōtiki weighed 340 grams at hatch. The hatch weight is usually 320 to 350 grams. Fun fact three. The hatchling, nourished with the yolk, does not eat for about five days and is then fed a special captive diet. The young kiwi have worms and insects. Yum, yum. Topped up with oxide. Vegetables, bananas, and other nutrients. How about that? No donuts. No McDonald's. Fun fact four. It takes up six months for a juvenile kiwi to really to reach the released weight of 1.2 kilograms. Female kiwi are generally more aggressive than males. <laughs> and being larger, harder to handle. Kiwi reach breeding age. That's when they're going to have babies at two to three years and kiwis live for approximately 30 years and there's some photos from the pukaha mount bruce sanctuary well that was fun wasn't it you have a lovely week see you later bye